which is where they take these like ice cold balls and they just like <laughs> they take these ice cold globes Today has been a really good day. Oh my gosh. I got so much done like unintentionally. I knew I wanted to clean the kitchen. I didn't know I was gonna clean it as thoroughly as I did. <laughs> um, and I also knew I wanted to do yoga, so I'm really glad that I took that moment for myself. And the movement really helped like my legs feel better from working out. And just like having that moment of like peace and calm always reminds me that it's it's in you. It's in you. Like everything flows from you. Nothing outside of yourself that you're chasing is the answer. It's always in you. I am about to do my hair. I've kind of gotten it down to a schedule now, so I know it's going to take me about two hours to wash, condition, detangle, apply deep conditioner, and then it'll take me about two hours tomorrow to style. But first, I have some packages. So I have this package. I hope I didn't just damage anything just now. And then I also have this package that's like super duper, duper excited. Okay. So let's start with this package. This is actually something that I purchased for my hair. This is my first purchase from this brand. And it is Melanin Hair Care. Y'all, this is my first purchase. It's my first purchase from Whitney. I truly hope that you enjoy your products. With love, Whitney White. I love that. Wow, I'm so proud of her. And I was gonna say that, like I'm so proud of her. But like, no y'all, we've seen this from the beginning. I have never purchased this item before, but I realized how necessary it is over like this past, I wanna say year, um, specifically since we moved into this place because Vernon has hair too, as I see all the time, and he needs some help, as do I, in the shower. So boom, baby. I got a fogless shower mirror. I actually got two because I want to put one in my hair bathroom and one in our like primary bathroom. Why is this so scratched? Do I have to take something off? Really? Is this supposed to be like this? This can't be like this. I think there's a film on it. Hold on. Let me let me read the instructions before I start messing some stuff up. I believe it was twenty dollars or twenty two dollars, so it was pretty affordable. And I was also searching on Amazon before I realized that Melanin um, Hair Care had one. I was looking on Amazon mainly, and my problem with all of them is that they were too small because they're mainly made for men who shave in the shower. And this one is ten inches by ten inches, so it's like you can see your hair, <laughs> you know. Um, and then I also got this twist elongating style cream because I constantly find myself oh actually I can use this tomorrow I constantly find myself needing a thicker cream than like a hair milk but the ones that I have are too thick like they're more so like winter hair cream so I'm hoping it smells a little like a little faint bit like shea butter but this is perfect because another thing with Vernon's hair um, for me, I don't care if it has fragrance, but for Vernon, I don't want my man to smell like my hair products. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's something that I've noticed in like the natural hair world. Like there definitely is space for men. Like there's space for more products to be made for men. Um, I'm really assuming that this is plastic, like for real, for real. Oh, okay, here we go. You guys ready for this? It's gonna be so satisfying. Look at this. Oh yeah, actually that looks great. Oh my God, this looks great. <laughs> so we're gonna put that in the shower today before we do our hair. So, something, something, something exciting. Something exciting. Okay, y'all. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. I've been sip hair products before. Have I ever been sent hair products from like a major company, I should say? A very established company yeah yeah I have I've been sent like stuff from some for some people but this I'm really excited about because 
I honestly believe that I manifested this because I saw this line and I was like, wow, I really want to try like one of those lines that are made by black scientists, either the Pantene or the Head and Shoulders. But I specifically did want to try the Head and Shoulders version because I use Head and Shoulders every single wash day. I have been using my Head and Shoulders dry scalp care two-in-one shampoo conditioner, the one with the almond on the bottle, for over 10 years, like a long period of time. <laughs> and I have been wanting to switch it up. And so I was going to, Purchase this line, which is made for black hair, curls, kinks, and coils. Um, and then I was like, you know what? It would be great, actually, if they reached out to me so we could work together. And they did. They did. <laughs> Y'all hear burning. Um, so yeah, girl, let's get into it. I'm just gonna let you guys look at it, and you can pause it and read it if you like. Now, I 100% believe that healthy hair comes from a healthy scalp, and so. I'm excited, okay. I have the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I also have the shampoo and conditioner, and I'm really wondering like what's the difference between the two? And then it also comes with this scalp cream, which I can see really coming in handy like if you had braids or like cornrows or twists or like just putting it on like before you style your hair for the week. Sometimes I do that with oil. And then it also came with this product, which I actually do have already. This is the scalp elixir that you do use for braids. It helps with like tightness. Uh oh. It helps with your braids being too tight and your scalp itching. And oh, what's that product? I don't have that one. Oh, it's a frizz tamer. And then they also sent over this, which I used it briefly. <laughs> I did use it. And it didn't stack my hair. I'm really honestly afraid to use it now. Oh God, it feels so good. Can you see this? This is a stretch reliever and it doesn't snag. It doesn't stack my hair. They also sent over like a scarf and a scrunchie in the Royal Oil color. And this, this you guys, oh my God, again. This is a facial roller. You basically put it in the freezer and then you roll your face with it. It helps with inflammation. It helps to soothe redness. Um, one of my favorite things when I get my facials done is cryotherapy, which is where they take these like ice cold balls and they just like, <laughs> they take these ice cold globes <laughs> and then they like massage your face with it and it's the best ever. Last time I had it done, I went to sleep. Like seriously, I was snoring. <laughs> I was snoring and on the table. I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. But today I'm going to be trying, what do you guys think I'm going to try? The two-in-one. I'm going to stick with what I know. I'm going to try the two-in-one that's made specifically for curly and coily crowns. That's cute. I like that. Hey vlog. So I did my hair last night and girl girl game changer okay game changer game changer that mirror is everything it's everything and i know you guys couldn't really tell in the clip that i showed you because my camera was fogging up so i couldn't show you that the mirror wasn't fogging up but it was as clear as day my entire shower like <laughs> it was kind of freaky <laughs> It just made it so much easier to do my hair. It actually kind of made it fun because I could like, you know, play in my hair. You know how like when your hair is straight and you just can't stop. When my hair is detangled, I love it because it's just so calm. <laughs> so I like to play in it a little bit. And it definitely helped me um, get my wash day done quicker. I got my wash day done in less than two hours and that includes like applying deep conditioner taking my shower after cleaning the shower out so i really don't know how long it took me like maybe it took an hour and a half maybe the fact that i got a wash and go detangled that quickly so i will link that down below right now i just have deep conditioner in my hair i sat under the dryer this rising and i couldn't finish my hairstyling routine because i have some exciting news Vernon and I just sold our house. What? What? Wow. <laughs> I honestly, wow. I can't believe it. Um, 
<sighs> I'm really proud of us and like in awe of this moment. Um, we've had our house since 2018. So we've had it for a little over four years now, like just a, like pretty much exactly four years. And it's in Florida. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that we lived in Jacksonville, Florida for, uh, I don't know, like three, four years. I can't really remember. And in 2020, um, when Vernon got out of the military, because that's why we were in Jacksonville, we wanted to move like back home, back to Georgia. So in 2020, um, when we decided that we wanted to move back home, we looked into selling our house then, but we it wasn't gonna be like a profitable decision. Like I don't even know, I think we probably would have just broke even, like we wouldn't have earned anything from it. Um, and so I was like, okay, cool, mm -mm, let's not do that. Let's hold on to the property. So in the meantime, we'll find someone that we can allow to use the property, um, essentially like lease it out and um, we'll just revisit at another time. So we did that for two years. Um, the person will be moving out actually tomorrow and our closing date is like just a few days after that. Um, and it's crazy. <laughs> I'm really proud of like us just following our intuition with that decision. Really from the moment that we found that house, like I knew exactly how I wanted it to serve our life. Like I wanted us to be able to use it to um, benefit us like in all ways like we were there or if we weren't gonna be there. And it really seems like that is 100% how it's working out. I'm glad that this vlog is going live like after this because usually I don't talk about stuff until like way after it happens. Just because I'm a very private person and then even after things happen, I like to just keep my energy on it. So I'm able to share this with you guys because you probably aren't gonna see this for at least like a month or two. Yeah, I'm just really, really proud of us. So today was the closing date for us. I didn't even know until yesterday. Vernon was like, oh, are you free at 12 p.m.? And I was like, yeah, why? He was like, well, yeah, I signed papers. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just say that like holding property is the best thing ever, ever. And I've always heard that and I've always wanted to do that. And it's not as hard as you think. Like as long as you have good people who are willing to help you and like kind of meet you at the level that you're at. So our realtor, she was specifically, like she specializes specifically in first time home buyers as well as like military families buying homes. So she really understood like where we were coming from because that was us when we first met her in 2018. She really understood like where we were coming from. She had been through that. She was also like a military wife. And um, she has been amazing throughout this entire process. She was also very um, diverse. So she was a real estate agent, she was a property manager. Like, so we've worked with her through everything. Like, closing the first time these past two years when we haven't been at the house and also um, closing this time. So it's really great when you can have, like when you can find relationships with people that really align with where you are. I think that's probably been the biggest help as well as like researching as much as you can, as well as prayer and intuition. Like for me, all the decisions that we made have all been gut decisions. Like how much to even rent the place out for, how much like do we even want to rent, like when is the best time to sell. Like these are all intuitive <laughs> decisions that I spoke to God and Spirit about first before we did anything. Um, so I'm really proud of us. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on. I got some stuff in the mail. This is going to be the longest vlog ever. I got some stuff in the mail and I wanna show it to you guys because I'm about to make some tea. I got um, this box from David's Tea. This is something that I ordered for myself. Um, this is like a little birthday present slash, I've just been wanting this for a while so I got it for myself. And this specifically is what I've been wanting. So if you are a tea person, let's see. I got the Nordic mug. If you guys are a tea person, I say specifically tea because this has some really great tea features, but you can use it for everything. Matcha, frappuccinos, coffee. This is what I got. Hold on. It does feel, okay, it feels kind of durable. I hope it, we'll see. This is what I got. It's a double walled, mug it's like 20 ounces which i drink a lot of tea so these little baby like eight ounce and 12 ounce mugs no thank you give me the big boy and then it also has a lid 
which is so important if you drink tea because when you steep your tea, you're supposed to cover it while it's steeping because the herb benefits can escape through steam, which is why you do respiratory steams and yoni steams because the benefits of the herbs can, you know, come out through the vapor. So you want to cover it so your, your benefits don't leave while you're steeping. But I don't have that type of mug, so for the past forever, um, two years, I have been using plates on top of my mugs. And I finally was like, okay, I'm over this. We need to elevate. So I got that. And then since I was there, I went ahead and got some other stuff. So I got this infuser, which is if you want to do loose tea, you can. Um, you put, the, put it in this little canister and it has really, really tiny holes. Can you guys see that? I'm happy with how tiny the holes are. That way the leaves won't come out. Then I also got some different types of teas just to try, um, cause I want some flavors. Let's make, should I make the energizing tea at 1.30? Let's try the beet tea because this could be either really nasty or really good. Like it tastes like berries. It tastes really good. It doesn't taste like, well maybe it does taste like beet. <laughs> I mean, I've had beets. This don't taste like what I've had. Something I like about this mug is the handle. It's just like a sexy cup. That's why I haven't bought a mug and like I've been really looking. Y'all don't know how long I've been looking. Cause I wanted something that looked good. This looks really good. Like when you do, I've seen people do like frappuccinos with like whipped cream on top and like a little cinnamon sprinkle or like matchas with like foam on top. The aesthetic of it looks good. With tea, the aesthetic isn't as like eye catching, eye popping, but the tea is good. I think in the future I would do two bags just for more flavor. And then I didn't put a lot of sweetener in it because I really wanted to taste the flavor of the tea. But I'm happy that I have it. And hopefully it gives me some energy because my brother's birthday dinner is tonight. So my brother and I's birthdays are four days apart. And like in our household, we used to celebrate our birthdays together because they were so close. Like up until I was like, okay, um, I think I'm a little too old for this. <laughs> Can I get my own birthday, please? But his dinner is tonight. He wants to have dinner at this Brazilian steakhouse. I think it's called, it's not called Pasadena or Pajmina or Pasadora. That's what it's called, Pasadora. I've never been. He says that it looks really, really good. Um, so we're gonna go. I need to do my hair. Like that's an absolute priority. This is probably the last time I'm gonna talk to the camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy hanging out with you. Make sure that you like comment, subscribe, and share with anybody that you think would benefit, and enjoy the vibes in the next video.